Okay, hello. Well, I just got this in the mail today. Uh, I believe it's going to be a game called Aqua Garden by a little Japanese company called Uchiba Koya. Um, I'm not sure, but it's about the right time and the right size. Their shipping that they did was weird because it was through a courier um, and they had some issues with their tracking numbers. So um, it just kind of showed up unexpectedly uh, without notification, which is what can happen. Um, it's always best if it comes to Australia Post, but I ended up getting it on time, so I'm happy. Unless, of course, this is a different game. This definitely is a board game, though, because it says board game on the shipping label. So let's see what it is. It's gotten pretty banged up in transit, the box. And look at that. It is, in fact, Aqua Garden. And look at this. I got some free expansions. I didn't realize. Ooh. So I got the Sea King expansion. The... Arctic expansion, the Sea Jewel expansion, that's cool, and there's the base game. Oh, there's something else in there. Oh, what more little meeples. So this game is all about setting up your own aquarium, um, kind of like the, I think it's modeled after the Osaka Aquarium because they've got um, whale sharks. So there's some cards. Look, lots of Japanese writing that I can't understand. I think there's English on stuff, but if not, I know that there was like a pretty funny printing error. Look at that. So there's some sunfish and some deep sea king crab. What are those called? I don't know. Spider crabs. Puffer fish. It's really cute. All right, so let's look at the main box first. Ah, oh, I didn't realize I got all those expansions. One, two, three. I thought I didn't get them, but maybe I did. Or maybe some of them came with. So this is looking pretty good. One to four players, 40 to 60 minutes, ages 15 up. So even though it looks like kind of a cute game, I think it's a bit heavy, a bit complicated. It's kind of like um, the impression I got of it was sort of like Dinosaur Island, but with, you know, fish instead of dinosaurs. And it's more about building, you know, the most beautiful and interesting aquarium rather than, uh, you know, having dinosaurs that kill people. So... So it's a really nice quality, really like nice printing on the inside of the box. You don't always get that, but that's a nice touch. And then a bag that says Aqua Garden, and I think that's supposed to hold all the meatballs and stuff. I honestly don't. Oh, it's less. Well, it's not as much in here as I expected. That's interesting. So here's the rule books. Um, English. One day you suddenly become inspired to open an aquarium in your town, and then lots more words and instructions. Cool. All right, so this is a big circle. So that might represent like the big tank in the center of the aquarium. Here's a nice fold out board. And those are all the tanks that you can put in. So this game has a potential, I think, to be either very relaxing. And here's your individual player boards. So they're a bit thinner. And so look, you've got your individual tanks that you can put stuff in. And here's the cards. And I'll see what's inside this one. Make sure I've got everything out of the box. So, one to four players, I think it said. Yeah, not double-sided. Oh, got a bit got a bit of rubbing there. This is what happens with things. All right, so what's in here? Oh, meeples. So you got uh, sharks. I'm guessing those are zebrafish. Sea turtles, including one special purple one. I don't know what that's about, but that's awesome. Some plant life. Always good to have. Some coral. Uh, manta rays. Looks like uh, some kind of squid and another kind of squid. I can't remember what those ones are called. Um, these are, looks like patrons, like those little people. Oh, well, those might be your, oh, those are your, your player tokens. So those the, each of the four players gets to be a curator, and there's their money tokens. And there's a whale shark. There's three whale sharks. That's pretty cool. And seahorses, and a golden seahorse. And then lots of these really cool little... I think these... I don't know what these are. Oh, those are your workers. See, they got the little aprons for making sure that they don't get the fish... I don't know, harmed or... And there's a bunch of clownfish and one blue clownfish. I don't know what that's about, but I like it. And then these were extras, I believe. These were, uh, so the sunfish, those um, sea worm, what are those things called? Ne some sort of nematode. And then uh, the blowfish. 
Ah, deadly blowfish. Excellent. All right, well, this is cool. So it's a cute little box, a cute little game. Nicely put together. I think that's the big tank where you put your whale sharks. I think Osaka Aquarium is the only aquarium that has a whale shark in it, um, which I've seen. It was neat. It had a big circular tank like that, and it swam around in circles. I don't think it was like a full-grown one, but it was pretty huge. I haven't seen any bigger fish in captivity before. Um, so that all goes back in there like that. Fits pretty neatly. Looks like there's going to be room for all the extra stuff too. All right, so that's... And these are the cards. Shall we have a quick look at the cards? One of them has like a really funny misprint on it, I believe. It's the one with the rays. So basically, yeah, that's very Dinosaur Island-like. You get more points depending on the value of the exhibit plus like how you arrange it. Shark Impact, that sounds scary. Uh, there it is. Oh, it's just in Japanese. So who knows what it says. Here we go. Ah, so this is supposed to be translated from this one. That's in Japanese. Oh, don't wobble the thing. But what got translated was the original English text looked like count up all the fish in the aquarium. Each one is one VP. Changed it to make it more clear with green text. The spacing on the card has, has wide and narrow spacing. So that's notes from the graphic designer. Um, and that got translated directly instead of the actual instructions for the car. So I don't know. I think that's kind of funny and cool. Like it would be annoying, but you just have to, I guess, learn it. They, they told us about it and they said that's going to cost like as much as it took to ma like manufacture the game to send out replacement cards. Um, so I imagine that when they do the, the, um, retail edition of the game, they'll have that fixed up. And then they'll probably make printable ones or stickers available for us to correct the cards. Or you can just learn Japanese, because they've got the Japanese cards. Nothing to it. All right. Um, and I don't know. It's just kind of the cool things, uh, silly little things that happens when you uh, back a smaller company. But I really like the quality of it. Like, these boxes are so nice and neat. So this is called the Arctic. Um, again, 230... And it's got some penguins and polar bears and baby penguins, cute. And looks like a little mini fold-out board, a square one. Oh, it's like a it's like a mini game. Oh, that's neat. So I don't know how that works, but I'm totally intrigued. And this one has a giant squid, so I'm guessing it has some more meeples and cards in it, and maybe another mini board. I don't remember any of this stuff. I just like the game. It had all the cool meeples on it. Oh, look at that. So you got a giant squid. You got some... That thing, uh, uh, an oar fish, I believe that's called. And um, a sea anemone. I'm sure it's something more interesting than that. A dory fish, whatever they're actually called. Uh, cool. You can make such a good aquarium with all these. And then sea jewelry. So I think it's just like really pretty fish like sea angels. I think that's what they're called. And the, the boxes are really nice quality. And these ones aren't printed on the inside. So what do we got? We got an otter. That's so cool. Sea angels. And some clams. And a silicanth, maybe? I don't know what that is. And there you have it. More cards. Ten victory points for the silicanth. Um... I'm actually pretty impressed. Like I was, I, I wasn't sure about this game. Uh, I backed it because we have uh, happy memories of the Osaka Aquarium, and I thought, well, that's a good one to get. Um, and so I wasn't. I was kind of on the fence about it, but so this one's cute and interesting, and it might be pretty easy and fun to play, and maybe not so murdery as the rest of our games. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing of Aqua Garden by Ochi. Ochibakoya Games, I believe that's what they're called. I already forgot. And uh, if you like this, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. At some point, once we get through our backlog, we'll do a review of this game on our podcast, hotgamemagnet.com. Um, so please 
check back again later to see what we actually think of the gameplay. Thank you very much. See you next time.